Starting from second to third, fourth grade, children transition from learning how to read to using reading as a tool for learning. So quickly, math becomes word problems. Learning history becomes reading books. So detecting reading difficulties early on is one of the most impactful things that can be done for a child early in education. The ROAR is a rapid online assessment of reading, which is a set of reading screeners to assess foundational reading skills. So it can be used to detect children that are struggling, that are falling behind. It can also be used to monitor how children's reading abilities are growing over time. Reading development research has historically been dependent on one-on-one -on -one assessment administration of standardized behavioral measures of reading ability. That is really time and resource intensive. It requires uh, a trained human proctor or clinician to administer these tests face-to-face. -face. From our measure, I, our idea was to try to create a tool that gets the same type of measure, that gets the same type of score, but can be done to a whole classroom or a whole school district of children at the same time. So we started exploring developing web apps that took psychology experiments, kind of typical cognitive science experiments, and gamified them in a way to be interesting and engaging for young children that in the background are indexing different aspects of their word recognition abilities. With that information, we hope that teachers and interventionists can identify students who may need additional support or monitoring. We've been fortunate to be able to partner with Bay Area schools, schools around Stanford, but we really want to make sure that this assessment is widely accessible and available to schools outside of the university community. We've been starting to partner with schools in the Midwest and on the East Coast. Through their insights, we're also refining the tools and making it much more usable. One of the guiding principles for our team is that we've decided that we want to adhere to an open source and open access model. We want to create systematic links between the research that's going on here at Stanford and elsewhere and what's going on in the classroom. So it really is a back and forth cycle where um, hopefully we're providing our school district partners a useful service and they're providing us a lot of valuable insights into the best use cases and the best future directions for this development.